Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian Arbuck, and today I'm joined by Ryan Rampersad so he can tell us his experiences with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO24. Hi, Ian. Hey, Ryan. I have a phone. You do? Is it a brand new, shiny, most hyped 2017 phone so far? Very likely to be true. (laughs) Uh, It's not the new iPhone, though. No, because that hasn't come out yet. It is not the new Pixel, though. That doesn't come out either. It is. Is it HTC? Not the new Note 8. No. No, it is the new-ish Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Ah, fancy. It is pretty fancy. Yes. Yes. I, I remember when I started seeing those at Harding High School. At least one of my students has one. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know if you'd just have a phone booth at your no, school. No, I wish, I wish. That'd be awesome. Well, right. Uh, the only also be weird. F- the only phone booth that we have is the, like, shrine of ancient technology that I have in my room. And I've got a couple of, like, really old... You don't um, say. ...phones in there. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, I think uh, since you're joining here to talk about this phone, we should get started. And, we definitely should. Um, we should uh, do what uh, everybody likes to do, is talk about price first. Sure. That's. I mean... That is one of the biggest factors determining which phone people are going to buy, is it not? Yeah, I think so. So uh, I, I like to talk about price kind of a, a, in a marketing kind of way. Like, um, you know, the whole market kind of right. reacts to prices of phones. Mm-hmm. Where it fits in the umbrella, as yeah. it were. So, you know, you kind of think of the iPhone being, you know, a premium device. You mm-hmm. know, it can justify its $750, $850 cost. Yeah. Because you know at least you're getting some hardware that will at least will last for two years or so, mm-hmm. if not more. Um, and then, you know, you've kind of got the next tier of phones. So, like, the S8s and the HTC flagships and the LG flagships. I think that Samsung would definitely uh, be <laughs> dismayed to hear you not describing the S8 as being in the same tier as the iPhone. They may, they, they may be dismayed. However, uh, that's too bad. <laughs> so then, and then after that, you've mm-hmm. got sort of like the, the premium mid-range, which is yep. sort of like the... One plus that's where one plus occupies now yeah. which is sort of weird because these days the one plus territory has crept up um and now it's sort of being taken over by nobody yeah yeah and then after that tier you've kind of got the moto g ish x ish yeah whatever they're called now these days phones which are okay but they're not really that good no nah. um i mean they're they're fine if you think about th- Two, three years ago. Right, yeah. right. And and they're good enough if you need a, an emergency phone or if mm-hmm. you don't care about phones. Right. So specifically I think it's okay if you don't care about cameras. Well right. That's that's the I that's the component that always seems to take the biggest hit as you move down that's true. the price ladder. Yeah. I I'd, I'd say that's true. I think I think there are other things that you might not like about this those uh lesser phones. Yeah. But uh build quality in general goes down too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the the price of the S8 when I bought it was uh eight twenty four ninety nine. Well, <laughs> well, and that wasn't the base model though, right? No, no, no. This was the plus model. So this is uh-huh. the bigger one. How many did you get? Like uh, there was only one size large... tier of uh, For like storage? storage. Okay, yeah. Huh. So um, what's cool about these phones though is you can stick in SD media if you want. Right, it's great. As I learned from my Nvidia Shield tablet though, uh, which we did a review of a couple of episodes wow, ago. Wow, what a plug. Yeah, I love plugging things. Um, especially things into walls. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke. Um, but yeah, as I, as I learned from having the NVIDIA Shield tablet, um, I would not count on using SD cards as like a proper expansion of, of storage. Right, but now here's the thing, though. What I use SD Media for is for pretty much just pictures. Right, and, yeah. And so the camera app is configured to send all pictures to it to the SD card. And I, yeah. I, I got a 64 gig card. Um, Which it, totally works for a ca- or a phone with a nice camera. Right. Does not work well for an 8-inch tablet that has a crap camera. Right. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so if you were putting apps on it, I have no idea if that would work. Um, yeah. It doesn't even support like the hybrid mode. You mm. know, like the huh. you know, storage as magic. Okay. I, I think Samsung just took it out, turned right. it off or something. Even though it's it's totally on a new enough version of Android to support yeah, that. Yeah. I think so. So I don't know what the whole story is there, but that I don't mind. It's not a big deal to me. Mm-hmm. So it cost a lot. Yep. 
And um, I bought it at Best Buy. And the reason I like buying phones at Best Buy is if it's broken, I can bring it back. I'm also a Platinum right. member. Ah. <laughs> I keep going back. Um, so so they, um, they like me, and I like them, and that's great. Now, a week later, in the next week's ad, they price dropped it by 100 bucks, ah. And so I got 100, 100 bucks off. And so I think it was only uh, 724 99 afterwards. Oh. Which was better. So what did you have to do to get that $100 back? Just call them. You, okay. Call them. Tell them, like, hey, in the ad, uh, my phone's $100 off. Can I get that uh, price difference? And they said, sure. Yeah. Cool. So I got like $103 back. So that was cool. Um, so for the price, um, I think you're getting a great phone. Mm-hmm. But I do not encourage anybody to buy this phone if you don't already know you want it off contract. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it's $800. Right. And if you're a phone enthusiast, go for it, because you don't care. But if you're just a normal person and you don't know if you're going to like it, just go to a carrier store and just deal with them. So, okay, so to to play around with it first? or Yeah. To, yeah, okay. Um, you know, it's a big phone. It has weird edges. It's mm-hmm. n- probably not like any other phone you've ever had. Um, the fingerprint sensor is going to be in a weird spot. Yeah. Um, just give it a try first. See if you like it. Then you can buy it outright, I guess, if you want. But if you're already on a carrier... Don't leave. Just keep carrying, I guess. Really? It's so much easier for normal people. That's true. Just, just stick That's to true. it. Hello, I'm, normal person. You know I'm talking to you. I'm trying to get everybody to get off of all those contracts, And, though, and because... I don't disagree, <laughs> but if if um, people don't know better, just let them continue that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's talk about specs now, because that's what we're all here for. Yeah. Or... Since we're all, except for that one normal person who's listening, right? We're all well, here for... They already for... left. <laughs> um, so, of course, everybody's eager to hear me um, complain about the um, amazing Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. Is that the number? I'm pretty mm. sure that's the number. So the 835 is sort of a... Um, a lukewarm upgrade to the 821, which was previously um, implemented in, I believe, the OnePlus 3T, and I don't know for sure if that got into the uh, Pixel or not. So it's a great little chip. It doesn't overheat like the 810 used to. Um, it's amazing how the 810 feels like it's so long ago, it's even one year though ago. it was just one year. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then, then, and then we had the bump up from, uh, 810 to 835 in one year. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That doesn't, it doesn't. How many numbers did they even hit in between? Uh, 820 and 821. Okay. So it's, it's perfectly fine. It's fast. It feels fluid. It feels great. Now there are two variants of this phone though. There's US and then there's not US Mm. and they have an Xenios or whatever weird, uh, not English word. Right. The, the Samsung, the Samsung chip. Chip. Um, and that one's more energy efficient and it pretty much performs the same. So that's cool. Oh. Um, you know, when you mentioned Qualcomm, I didn't even bat an eyelash, but now that I think about it, that's really strange since Samsung makes their own mobile chip. So, set. so the, the reason is in America, we have patents. Y- yes. And so in America, uh, Samsung is not allowed to use their chips here. Because of patents. Really? Yeah. That's funny because my Samsung Chromebook totally has it. And all of the Samsung Chromebooks that they're like pushing Cram- right now. Samsung Chromebooks don't have 3G slash 4G modems in them. Gosh, this is confusing. Yeah. And complicated. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, Glad I'm not a lawyer. Oh, man. Lawyer man says. <laughs> um, so in, in the RAM department, we get four gigs, I believe. Totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um. People will often do like uh, like memory tests with these phones, mm-hmm. um, you know, putting it up against something like the OnePlus Five or um, the secret uh, South Korean version of this phone, which has six gigs. Right. And yes, if you open twelve apps in a row and then go back to the first one, obviously it's going to reload from storage. I mean, who does that? Right. I use the same five apps every day, or you know, throughout the day, mm-hmm. and if I need to open one from the morning in the afternoon, I don't care if I have to wait point extra two seconds. And if you're one of those uh, normal people who clears out the entire list of recent apps, um, you're gonna it's going to be loading from storage either way. <sighs> I hate it when people do that. Well, so on, on the Samsung here, they have uh-huh. an easier... Yeah, button. I know. They have, the... a, they have a close all button. So I don't think... Don't enable this Samsung. No, 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 it's fine. It's so fast you won't even notice. Here, uh... let's, let, let's find out. So if I click... If I uh, open Twitter and I close Twitter, 
and then I reopen it. Oh, it's already open. Okay, so it didn't even matter. Perfect. So uh, the storage, as I mentioned, is um, 64 gigabytes. Now, there was a controversy with this. On the smaller phone, they use two vendors for the memory, Mm -hmm. for the storage, internal storage. Now, uh, by smaller, do we mean physically smaller or the... Okay. Yes, the the, the regular S8. Okay. So I have the S8+. On the bigger one, they only used one vendor for the storage. Okay. So on the smaller one there was a 50 50 chance to get slower memory interesting so get the bigger one (laughs) okay um i don't know i don't know what like the impact of that would be i don't know how much slower it was that's just what i've heard storage is fine no big deal i probably would never get a phone with less than 64 gigs of onboard storage yeah we're we're getting to that point aren't we I, I, i even if i didn't have an sd card like if i didn't have an sd card that would be really worrying only 65 gigs or 64 gigs but then to have all those apps and things uh, i don't know that'd be tough i'm still rocking 32 Ah, man i don't know how you live like that so camera time i do have to switch out between my music playlists that i have downloaded uh well <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't do music so i wouldn't even notice i know yeah um i do take pictures though of yes. mostly dogs and cats so i like most of the pictures this camera takes most of them good okay there are some pictures that are a little fuzzy for me, I think, mm-hmm. compared to the mm. Pixel. So the Pixel sometimes took a sharper picture. Okay, so we're not talking about like out of focus fuzzy. No, we're talking just, just, just sharpness. Weird. Okay. Yeah. So so the Pixel didn't have um, OIS. It had gyroscope stabilization. Okay. So a little bit different. This right. has OIS, uh-huh. and it's possible that it's just a different like software you know changing Mm -hmm. i don't know it's a slightly different picture and it's a little softer um okay than what Mm -hmm. i'm used to um but otherwise overall i think it's a really nice camera it's taken some really good pictures i have not taken it up to duluth yet to get my lighthouse shot oh yeah um everybody has their their (laughs) go-to test unfortunately mine's so far away yeah i know yeah um i haven't even done that with the pixel as far as i know so we'll, we'll get around to it but um, I think it's a 16 megapixel camera, mm-hmm. um, and it has an 8 megapixel um, like facing you camera, right? Selfie cam, front front facing camera. Yeah, um, and and actually the selfie camera is amazingly good. Uh, it's 12 megapixels. Oh, 12. Yes, right. Yeah. Very good. So the selfie camera is really good. Surprisingly, uh, it's hard to believe how good that is. Yeah. So um, yeah, camera is great. Um, you know, there's um, the DxO Mark thing that they yeah. use to praise the the, go- the- <laughs> He now praises the <laughs> iPad. <laughs> praise the Pixel. The Pixel. <laughs> um, it this phone scored pretty well on that same site. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's it's within digits of each other, like yeah. one or two. The, those most. those high eighties or whatever that was. Yeah. yeah. So I I don't think you're going to go wrong using this phone's camera at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, charging. Charging is really cool with this. So it has Type C, as you probably can Good. guess. Uh, is this the first Samsung phone that does? The previous model did not, but the previous Note might have, but it exploded. So right, yeah. Um, but it also has, which I consider to be a really cool thing, since I don't think I've had it in quite some time. Wireless charging. Yeah. So I've actually been using this a little bit. Um, and so upstairs I have a wireless cradle, mm-hmm. and it just sits around and it's uh you can just put your phone there and it'll just begin charging and so in the old days wireless charging was notoriously slow and it melted your phone ah this does neither it charges very quickly so in an hour i can be from 80 to 100 or or 70 to 100 it's very quick and then it also doesn't melt good good so i suppose it's it's still not as fast as wired right it's probably not as fast as wired but but it's, it's nice and convenient it's it's at least i don't at least 60% as fast, if not more. Okay. So I, cool. I'm totally okay with it. Um, speaking of charging, battery life. So I went to work today, mm-hmm. and I'm at 55%. And, and it this is, is 8.30 at night. And I have took this off the charger this morning at 6.55. <whistles> so I'm good. I don't think about batteries anymore. I don't think that I've ever had a battery that lasts nearly that long. <laughs> and this... Oh, we didn't even talk about the screen yet. Get in there. The the screen on this thing is huge. It's not like the screen is like anything special on the S8. Nobody's talking about it. No, That's, but it, yeah. it's just huge. Let's just skip over that. Um, 
I mean, it's not Nexus Six huge. It's just huge. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So the the battery life on this is great. Now, if, obviously, if you're actually like playing Ingress or playing Pokemon Go mm-hmm. or running maps, it's going to you know leak drain like a sieve. But right. that's what those things do. Yeah. So even when I've L- run- literally like Pokemon Go used to drain my phone's battery faster than my external battery could charge oh, it. That's awful. Yeah. So I actually did have it turn off in the middle of playing Pokemon Go while plugged in. So um, until recently, I did not even have a charger in the car mm. um, because I just never was concerned about battery life at all. The only time I'm concerned about battery life a little tiny bit is when I have to drive somewhere with GPS mm-hmm. because then it could drain past, you know, that, you know, like danger territory of 20%. I'm yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. So battery life. Wow. What a phone. Like, And so what's really bizarre, though is people on the Reddit and on the review sites will complain, the S8 Plus has terrible battery life. What are you people doing with your phones? Yeah. Don't you work? <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about the display, you know, the thing that nobody's talking about. Right. So, um, d- uh, over there on your document of uh, details, does it say how big the screen size is? That depends on if I can find it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Display. There it is. Um, 5.8 inches. Mm-hmm. on the s8 and 6.2 inches on the s8 plus <laughs> holy moly dude okay thank you for uh fetching the information i wanted to know so um you you held this earlier does it feel like a 6.2 inch phone no no it, it absolutely doesn't. not but it is glorious it's it's roughly as wide as my nexus 5x it's a uh, quite a bit taller yeah but... and and so what 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 enables this phone to be so small but so big mm-hmm. is that the screen itself goes to the very edges of the sides. Yep. And there's, uh, I don't do measurements, but how big is that? That looks like about a centimeter. A centimeter of gap on the top and bottom. Wow. That's crazy. So it's it's uh, it, it, it's, it, it's not, a lot, not even like the Mi Mix 2 from last year, mm-hmm. where they had the bone induction speaker grill oh, pushed yeah. out on top and... You know the the camera at the bottom, and you know all sorts of weird or like that, um, trickery. A- Aquos, yes, uh, the one, yeah, Aquos Crystal, yeah. And and so this phone is, looks normal, but it just has such a huge screen ratio to size. It's just mm-hmm. so big. And they also have a slightly unusual aspect ratio for the screen itself. It's slightly uh, unusual. It's yeah. eighteen point five to nine. Right, eighteen point five. I think it's just eighteen to nine. No, it's, it's, 18, it's two eight, to one. Right? No, 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 no. Eighteen point five. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think the reason they justified the 0.5 is so they could uh, shove the, uh, you know, on-screen nav down here. So this is the first Samsung phone, I believe, to not have awful, disgusting, horrible capacitive touch buttons. Excellent. Instead, it has the one true reasonable thing to do, on-screen nav. Um, Wonderful. Just, Just great. The um, pixel resolution, I believe, is 1440p on this right now, mm-hmm. but you could run it at the the one next one up, whatever that is. Like, I don't know if that's 4K or 2K or I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, 1440p is about 3K, especially when you've got the the weird aspect ratio there. Um, um, yeah. So oh, uh, uh, I was mistaken. So this is running at 2220 by 1080, and the next one up is 2960 by 1440. So there is no 4K. Made it up. Completely fabricated. Still really high resolution. Yeah, yeah. Um and and so the the density of the screen is really good. Some people have complained about the pentile display of Samsung phones in the mm, past. Mm-hmm. Can't see it, still can't see it. Don't know. Making it up. So, so pen, okay, pentile is not this Okay, cuz so so it's not cuz it's an OLED display. So what does pentile mean in that case? Um pentile uh, if you recall from the um, OnePlus 3, is a, a an arrangement of pixels uh-huh. such that there's like two blues, one red, and one green or something. Oh, uh, okay. Because the red ones die faster, so they put less on there or something. Or no, wait, it's the other way around. Blue mm-hmm. ones die faster, okay. so they put two. Okay. Huh. Um, let's talk about the body now. Yeah. It's glass, double-sided pancake with buttered toast on each side. That uh, Does that mean it's slippery? That means if you drop it, you're screwed. Okay. Yeah. So get a case. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. 
but butter on you. Okay, yeah, because it it doesn't matter which side it lands on. Yeah, it doesn't it's matter. Got it. It's you're you're uh, not going to be happy after. Right. Um. So it's glass on both sides, which is one of the reasons it can have the wireless charging, which mm-hmm. is great. Highly recommended. So, um, it's really a sleek phone, pretty thin. I I don't have an iPhone, but I think it's probably the same thickness as an iPhone. Um, it is definitely smaller in uh depth than the um pixel okay the yep. pixel is just a monster wow. and, the, and the pixel kind of wedged up right like it, it was thicker at the top than it was in the bottom no, is that it, right it just had um a special glass plate on the top oh okay yeah same same width mm-hmm. um w- so the body has this weird thing though this this uh fingerprint sensor right next to the camera right what were these people thinking? I mean, at least they realized that uh, in order to do this whole like edge to edge display, infinity display thing, that they were going to have to not have the fingerprint sensor on the front. So That's they did true. put it on the back, which is a logical place. But they kind of it's it's like they were pitching and they uh, put it just a little bit up and to the right of where they intended to. So the 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 camera is centered at the top mm-hmm. and then right next to it on the right is the fingerprint reader yeah now you you try reaching your little fingers over to that thing it's basically difficult um i've got pretty long fingers and i'm having to reach uh quite far up there to get yeah oh so and, and right it's not gonna work for me <laughs> <laughs> right i now, do that every time yeah now on um, i have a case for this phone and with the case it's much easier because you have a, a rim to hit ah, first and then go back yeah, a little yeah. now we're not at the software level yet, but let me tell you about the software for this thing. The phone will tell you if your if your camera has a smudge on it because because they because they knew because they knew that this would be a problem. That's so funny. That's um, so funny. So compared to other phones, like I said, you know, compared to the Pixel, this is way sleeker and nicer. The Pixel had that really nice metal feeling. But this is just, it feels like that iPhone quality of jewelry. It feels ornate and really just nice. Have you had to, like, adjust the way that you grip the phone? Because, like, usually when I grip my phone, I kind of have my peaky underneath it, like, kind of giving it some stability yeah. and then my other two fingers down there. But my but my index finger cannot reach up far enough to get to the fingerprint sensor. I, I have case. to do the uh, slide, the shimmy. The shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy. Yeah, okay. I do. And then do you have to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy back down yeah. afterwards to, so that your thumb can reach the uh, yeah. home button? Yeah, that's not ideal. So if if um um you know if 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 they had the button right like you know the the five X button oh yeah or the six P button yeah that's a great or placement any other competent phone designing team button placement. That's you know would be ideal. Now I do I do have to shift my grip on the Nexus 5X just a little bit. Like I have to kind of slide my pinky from below it to be next to it, but I don't have to shimmy shimmy shimmy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we can just lump these into body. It has a uh, on the bottom uh, headphone jack. Excellent. I love it having the headphone jack on the bottom. It has a bottom mic, among others. Oh yeah. It has a single bottom speaker grill. Hmm. Um, and, and for some reason, Samsung didn't decide to put a slightly better than not good, um, you know, earpiece mm-hmm. and then have fake stereo. Right. Um, like the iPhone. Yeah, whatever. I never really noticed. Like I can hear the directions just fine. Totally clearly. Oh, when um, you're, right when you're in the car. Yeah. And yeah. that's really the only time I need like good sound to hear because mm-hmm. you know you're driving along you don't patch little... that through your car's speaker system it's so muffled sometimes huh. just oh man it's awful okay different different podcasts we'll talk about it some other day <laughs> um uh let's see anything else on the body no it's button time okay well buttons okay google find me the bigsby button <laughs> it's right here uh right there oh it's on the left right where your thumb would be if you were holding it in your left hand okay it's awful. Do you it, accidentally push it all the time? No, I've okay. trained myself not to. But if you do press it, you'll be assaulted by this horrible thing called Bigsby. And oh, it needs an update. <laughs> it needs an update. But in order to use it anyway, even without needing an update, is you need to be logged into Samsung. Right. Which I will not do. <laughs> so basically, there's a whole button on my phone that I could use for something else, but I can't. But you're not allowed to. Because Bigsby. Mm-hmm. And every time somebody finds a way to get around it, Samsung takes it out. What? That is just like the worst company. It it, it is kind of bad, and everybody keeps 
keeps hounding them on this. Doesn't stop them from buying the phone, though. No, 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 no. The phone's too good to not continue to be purchased. So um, let's see what else here. We've got a power button and some volume buttons, and that's it. Where are they? On the sides. Which sides? Doesn't matter. Just buy Come the phone. on, Ryan. I need to know. It's uh, The power button, I assume, is on the right. It's true. And the volume rockers are on the left. Okay. And then the Bixby button is right below the down rocker. So you okay. watch out for that. Is it like, is it, does it have a different texture on it or anything? No, it, it, to... there's a small gap between them. Mm. So you can tell, but mm. eh, it's kind of risky. And is the, it looks like the power button is a little bit farther down on the, like, um, proportion. Like, yeah. You know. uh, I think, I don't remember what it, where it was on the Pixel, but there was a phone I had where it was almost directly in the center of the side. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you can't, they, they couldn't put it way up at the top. Because yeah. it's so tall. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for buttons. Um, radios. Wow. Why? Why even ask? Um, actually, this phone gets some really good um, 4G. Um, I think um, outside I can get up to or, or above 100 megabits. Oh, some, sometimes. Nice. Yeah. So all the radios, the best radios. Good. Yeah. Um, death grip is not a problem. I've, okay. I've, I try that on every phone. It's wonderful to try. Um, De- some, death grip being like holding it where you're covering all the radios yeah, and basically. then try to... Okay. Yeah, and then, then it's fine. It doesn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Um, this phone has not had any problems with Wi-Fi. Some phones I've had, I think the, the 6P had a little trouble with Wi-Fi oh. um, you know, at some point in its life cycle. Mm-hmm. I wonder where that phone went. Oh, Brandon has it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have to talk about the vibrator. Again? Really? No. You've had really bad This phone's luck. vibrator is completely and totally fine. Mm. It is very soft. You okay. can feel it, but you're not assaulted, accosted, mutilated by it, and uh, your um, nerve endings will appreciate that. I can't believe that you left the vibrator on for the uh, for the keyboard. How do you know you're typing if you don't know? Well, because especially, I, I mean, I gesture type, so... Especially... It's... With the travesty that Gboard has turned into. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't like it anymore? Oh, my gosh. It oh, never knows any words. Right, 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 right. Um, so now it's software time. Okay. So this phone runs some version number of TouchWiz. I don't know. Um, version 8? What's the version of Android? That's what I care about. Um, 7? Okay. Yeah. So TouchWiz. Like 7.0? Yeah. Okay. That one. So TouchWiz. So... Normally, TouchWiz has been looking... It looked really funny, and it was very everywhere. Um, there are some good ways to get rid of that. So, number okay. one, get a different launcher. Yeah. So, this is not the stock launcher, because why would you do that? This no. is actual launcher like a human. Actual launcher with these rounded edges. Uh, it's wonderful, because it's so easy to swipe these things. and you know, Oh, got, yeah, to uh, get to the list of all apps. And then I the have the, the secret bo- panel on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, man, it's just, it's great. Now, the phone came pre-configured with this little, like, floating dock bar thing of its own. Okay. So, on the, right above where the power button is, uh-huh. there, on the screen edge, there'd be this little space. Ah, uh, yeah. That it would float above the, any app That kind of, like, se- semi-circle kind of thing? It, it was just, like, a very, it was a tr- semi-transparent uh, bar uh-huh. that you could swipe, which would open a full panel... Where uh-huh. you could store links to apps, basically. Right. So shortcuts, basically. Yeah, yeah shortcuts. Yeah. And so you could put shortcuts to apps or people or whatever. Now, when does that appear? Is it's that always on, there. On top of every app. It's okay. always there. But it's on the edge, though. So if you're not looking for it, you won't be bothered. Okay. It. I turned it off because I didn't need it. But it is a fantastic little addition that I think would be more obnoxious if they had done it in a different way. I don't need it, but I think a lot of people would get a lot of use out of it. So you could put your your Twitter app and mm-hmm. you know your. Uh... Does it do any like deeper shortcuts? Like, can you can you have it go straight to a particular contact? Yes, in you, the can contacts app you can do. You can do. Okay. I don't know what it'll do. Like, if it'll call them or text them. Or yeah. But it'll probably take you to their contact card at least. Right. Um, you can definitely do that. Um, it's a really nice little thing over there. Um, one of the weird things about TouchWiz though is you cannot change. Well, I guess maybe you can. But I can't. <laughs> I cannot change the color of the UI in the phone. Huh. So, for example, the navigation bar and uh, like the notification center and mm-hmm. the, you know, the all the little buttons and stuff. Right. 
all of it's on this horrible white background. Ah. Uh, and you can't get away from that unless you log in to Samsung and uh, download a different <laughs> theme, which I cannot do. Um, and, and There's so, no like APKs uh, for themes. Maybe that there you is, can but that's get. too much work. Yeah. Now, another weird thing is sometimes the, um, and this is just so bizarre, sometimes the the bottom bar, the nav bar, where yep. you, you, know, you have your back button, the home button and stuff, mm-hmm. sometimes it will be a different color than black. Hmm. Um, and I and I don't really know why it, I can't demonstrate it today, but some days it's just not. Some days it's orange. I don't know. Weird. Yeah. Some days it's white. And it's not. Well, that's really weird because like one of the indications that you're in like power saving mode is I th- orange menu bar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was app specific at one point, but um, maybe it's been patched. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so touch whiz. I noticed that you can actually change where the back button and the Whoa, app gosh. switching button are. So that's nice. As opposed to regular Android, which has fairly limited customizable aspects, mm-hmm. this has a lot more. Mm-hmm. So you can change not only stuff like that, but you can change, you know, even more stuff. You can change your resolution for one in the phone directly. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, you can change your font size. Uh, you can turn easy mode on. I don't know what that is. Let's not try it. What does that mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Samsung, make this phone easy. Uh, maybe. What? Um, so you can turn your LED light on. Um, you can, oh, the notification light? Yeah. Oh, good. You can tweak what's in your status bar so you can make it show only the three most recent notifications. Hmm. Um, so if you are one of those people that don't clear your notification right. tray... Well, you're in luck. Yeah. You'll just um, constantly see three and only three. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I think it puts like dots to indicate there's more, but uh-huh. it's okay. Um, you can configure if you want to see the battery percentage in the status uh, yeah, bar. Yeah. Uh, you can flip around the, you know, the layout of the buttons on the bottom. Mm-hmm. You can unlock with the home button. I don't know why you'd want to do that because it sounds wildly insecure. Don't do that. Um, like it, change what the home button does. Um, you can turn wake the thing up with the home button. So oh. there's no home button anymore. Previous right. Samsung phones had a physical home button, but if you force press it, you can make the screen come up. Okay, we should probably talk about that. So this phone has one of my favorite features of all Android: the ambient display, oh, yeah. not the baby ambient display that the good old Moto X had back in the day. This is a full on wonderful ambient display. It's always on. It's well, always on ah not just on when you touch it or when you look at it. it's always on it's only not on in your pocket so mm. if it's out or uh, i don't even know maybe it is on in your pocket i have no idea but it's wonderful <laughs> you can have to like <laughs> well i can't stick tell a, stick a light sensor in the pocket with it <laughs> yeah so um so it, it will show the time and it'll show the date and i guess it shows my name for some reason and the battery percentage and, and then a couple of notifications and this thing icons. has like such amazing great battery life despite oh, all of this just, how do they do it that's amazing if the, if the next pixel does not have as good of an ambient display as this i might not be able to leave this <laughs> it is so nice to be able to just see the time always that's okay i'll take the pixel too when you buy it okay then <laughs> so what happens <laughs> so it's wonderful um with this ambient display there are some things you can customize so for example if you um want you can have like um your, your music player to surface buttons and even ambient display mode. Mm. It won't take mm-hmm. you into the app or anything. You can do it on that black and white screen. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you can have weather and stuff pop up if you want. Now, some people would say, well, what about burning? What it does is it moves it imperceptibly <laughs> a little bit so that you won't notice, but it won't get burned in. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, man. It's almost like they were thinking about this one thing. <laughs> Um, so I wonder how big the team was that eh, six, just did the six MP people. display. Six people. I don't know. No, eight people. I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, S8. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. What are, what other things do you want to know here about uh, TouchWiz on this phone? Um, how does the like the quick settings and stuff when you pull down the notification tray, is would I be familiar with it or would it still um, be... So I've got Pi... Uh, I've got Wi-Fi... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i've got wi-fi i've got um mute 
now like you know like uh-huh. uh what, what, what is that called then, uh, do, um? not, do not do not disturb. disturb yeah so yeah that that's one difference there so it's called sound mode boo i'm on mute right now it has the temporary mute thing but it's not as cool as the the stock androids you know scroll up and down hours and then turn it off mm-hmm. kind of thing that's okay mm-hmm. i don't mind um bluetooth flashlight auto rotate mobile data airplane blue light filter ah, so you can turn that on yeah. and it'll go a little redder so that's cool um you've got mobile hotspot location and then there is a way to have another like page but i guess i don't have it on okay but you can customize you can take those things out if you want uh that's really good good there is an insane amount of customization you can do with this um just amazing yeah awesome just i'm very impressed so i uh have it running on the fingerprint mode for authentication Mm -hmm. to get into the phone Mm -hmm. but it also has the um iris scanning and face recognition capability um i did test the face recognition once it was okay i don't want that in my life though no you know because i mean i might be able to grow a beard and grow my hair and then it would think that i'm ryan so one of the problems with it is for example I love this ambient display thing, and if I look at the thing, it opens. And I don't want it to open. I just want to look at the <laughs> ambient display. Um, so don't, uh, don't make eye contact. Yeah, don't make <laughs> eye contact. You can't look at it. So there's um, some other things I will say about it. it. It's pretty fast. A lot of people say the leg is everywhere. I can't find the leg. Mm. I don't. I I'm, I guess I'm getting old. Like the apps open fast enough for me. The apps switch fast enough for me. I don't understand where the leg is. And it's a, is are they talking about like the animations are slow or something like that? Like they're they're talking about like when you scroll, you'll see mm, frame drops, some stuttering. Okay, but I'm scrolling through the Twitter right now and I'm not noticing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just must be getting old. Man, I just this display, this phone. I didn't. I didn't know on the first day if I was going to like it. I thought it was really. Really weird. It was sort of just gimmicky. Mm-hmm. I've had it for about two months now, I think. Yep. Since June 1st. Sounds about right. We'll pretend. Sure. And it's been great. Um, reliable, fast, battery efficient, very much so. Just what a good phone. So, Ryan, you found like the phone that you're going to have for the next three years, right? <laughs> so, did you know that on August 3rd, or actually August 8th, the uh, Note 8 comes out? <laughs> mm. Not getting that, but if you liked this phone for some reason and you didn't get it, you could get the Note 8 because it's really similar. Mm-hmm. So it has a little bit less tapered edge, but it ha- it's very similar. Okay. It's almost just a bigger version of the big version. Do we already know what the Note 8 is going to look like? Like what there, the physical... There have been leaks and Okay, stuff. okay. Yeah. But officially, it comes out in August. Right. So, should you buy this phone? No, unless you... Are already gonna buy it yeah okay <laughs> yeah that that's how i do recommendations now like if you know you want it then you can have it if you don't know what phone to get then i don't care go away oh my gosh ryan uh, i don't want the responsibility of telling people what to do anymore that's why we're doing this show no 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 it's a good phone but uh if you if you have a carrier already just stick with it <laughs> and i mean it's not like this phone isn't isn't available on every carrier that this phone is, is worth on talking about every carrier yeah um all major carriers here in the u.s all major carriers not in the u.s um some mvnos might not be able to support it at this point because they don't want to mm-hmm. um you know there's probably some other things that we're forgetting here but i think that's that's pretty much all i know about it um good phone i mean it's it's easily easily better than the pixel okay um if you don't care about stock android most people don't even know what that is right this is a great phone unfortunately most people Um, don't know what that is if you don't care about getting unlimited picture storage in photos this is a great phone oh yeah that was one of the perks it is that that is an amazing perk but if you don't need that that's fine Mm -hmm. you can get this phone and it's great um you know if you're okay paying whatever per year 25 dollars a year or something to get you know extra storage on the google storage Mm -hmm. that's fine you could have high res pictures instead of just high quality so that's okay uh yeah i don't i don't see any problems cool Mm -hmm. so ryan where can people find you on the internet well you can find me using my phone at twitter at ryan mar and of course on my website ryan which looks amazing 
on this phone. So that is it worth getting that phone just to look at the uh, that website on the phone? Yes, it is totally. Yes, um, what I what I often do is I go to Best Buys and uh, you know other stores, <laughs> and I will test two websites on any device I can find. Mm-hmm. One will be the Nexus, of mm-hmm. course, uh, the Nexus TV, and of course also RyanRamperset.com, which now looks beautiful on this phone. Excellent, just looks so good. Do podcasts sound better on it? Uh, question. Um, and you can give us feedback on this episode at thenexustv at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at the Nexus. Uh, nope, at the Nexus TV. <laughs> Close enough. Um, and uh, if you have uh, ideas for us for other subjects that we can uh, review, if you on have a phone show, for me to review, yeah. just send it on over and I'll review it. Or if you have a phone that you've been using for a while and you want to help us review it because we don't own it, uh, feel free to contact us as well. We'd love to have you on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have been Ian Arbuck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian Arbuck. And uh, I also have a website, but I haven't been doing anything useful with it lately. That's okay. Coming soon, hopefully, maybe. Hopefully, it's cert isn't expired yet. Uh, no, because we renewed that fairly recently. Good. Yeah. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>